Hi y'all, it's Gemini Queen coming back at you with another video. I know my hair look a mess right now. And yes, I'm wearing the red bandana, but not because of Tupac. Because I don't know if people are wearing, like, wearing red bandanas or not, but look, whatever, okay? Anyway, so you read the title, I am here to review Tales Cold Hearted. I actually shot, did a review for this, but I think I said... I think I got the title of the episode wrong. I think I said cold blooded instead of cold hearted, but whatever. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a review on it. So if you have not seen the episode yet, then I suggest you do not watch this video because I'm about to spill the tea, okay? Now, the episode starts off with Keith, AKA Gutta, getting shot up. And I'm just, I'm mad about it because it's like, I thought the episode was going to go a whole different way. Basically, the whole episode, the detectives, a.k.a. Um, MC Light plays one of them. I don't know who plays the other one. But basically, they are trying to figure out who shot and killed Gutter and what was the motive. That's what they're trying to figure out. They, um, um, they asked a friend. Did he know anything? They asked the I'm not sure if that was Gutter's girlfriend or Gutter's Gutter's wife, but it doesn't matter. That's his baby mama. They asked her. They asked um what was the uh, then they asked um Mano's character. I can't remember Mano's character. And then they asked Louie. I guess I, I, that's his name. And they all had different accounts of what the fuck happened, okay? Pretty much his friend what's his name? Tink? Tank. Tank. Tank was like you know he trusted me why would i have something to do with it he trusted me i was there you know he just got shot i don't remember. i don't know who shot him you know and then mano's character was like well i didn't kill him you know we had beef but i didn't kill him you know what i'm saying and then um the girlfriend was like oh well you know i had nothing to do with it this this girl actually thought that everybody wanted her you know what i'm saying in her head like her, from her point of view everybody wanted her you know what I'm saying? And then from Louie's point, which is like, Gutter was always trouble, you know? He was trouble. He wasn't showing up to his freaking um, recording sessions because he too busy getting high and getting drunk because he's paranoid. You know what I'm The whole situation kind of reminded me of Tupac. Like, you know how Tupac was always paranoid because he always thought somebody was after him? And then um, he went out of his contract and then he went to he went to the Mike Tyson fight, and then he was in the hotel, and he and um he had got jumped by um the Crips, and then of course he got shot, but nobody knows who shot him. And then people think Suge got something to do with it, and they think that Snoop got something to do with it. That's what that kind, that's what that kind of reminded me of. Is that is that weird? Did y'all pick that up too when y'all was watching the episode? The whole thing reminded me of a, a Tupac situation. Okay, that's what the whole thing reminded me of. And then at the end, come to find out, this nigga Tank had everything to do with it. This nigga Tank was hating on the low, you know, he was hating. Talking about, oh, well, Gutter treated me like shit, so that's why he needed to die. And then the dude that shot Gutter also shot Tank and was like, I can't stand no hating ass dude, man. Like, you hating on a nigga. And my thing is, Gutter was like, yo... We don't, I don't even have to sign this con. like, we don't even have to go with this label, we don't have to sign this contract, okay, because it, I, I, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna rap if you're not rapping with me, he said that shit, and what the tank said, look, go ahead and go, bro, go ahead and go, hater ass nigga, hater, and it made me real sad that, you know, when tank was, like, talking to him while he was on the ground, basically, basically letting gutter know, yeah, I had everything to do with it, nigga, Basically, that's what he was doing. I just felt sad. Like, like Keith really died for real, but I know he did. Y'all better be getting him some better roles. I'm tired of seeing him get his, get his ass whooped or get killed. Man, he died. Well, I'm not going to straight out of Compton, he died, but that was only because the real person died, okay? And then in um, Fear of the Walking Dead, he died. And then on Famous in Love, he just stayed having drama. Like... On Famous in Love, Jordan couldn't catch a break for anything. Like, he couldn't catch a break. 
all right? Even on House Party, he was made a fool out of. I'm sick and tired of keep playing these characters and he just making a fool out of him, man. Like, it's really affected me, <laughs> okay? It's really affected me. It's really affected me. And Jordan, like, he couldn't catch a break. Like, when I was watching Phantoms and Love, like, I could tell that Jordan is a good dude. He just misunderstood. And every, he tries to do the right thing, but it's like every time he takes two steps forward, he takes five steps back. Something brings him back. So I, I kind of feel I kind of feel bad for for his character, you know what I'm saying? Because at first I was like Jordan on some other shit, but then when I was watching that, you know, the series, I was just like, man, Jordan, he really trying though, he really trying, but I don't know. It's like you feel bad for him. Didn't I say that in the video? I said I said he he probably gonna play an asshole character, but he probably gonna be the character that you feel bad for. So I I actually feel bad for his character. But overall, the episode was a pretty good episode. I was shocked at how the episode went. Like, I thought it was just going to start off maybe um, a young gutter, like a kid rapping. And then he'll grow up. And then he'll get, like, a record deal. Somebody will hear him rap. He'll get a record deal and live his life through there. And then he'll get into a fight at the club. And then he'll get shot up at the end. That's what I thought would happen. But no, there's just, like, a freaking murder case down and his friend actually to be honest with you i thought the girlfriend had something to do with it Ooh, let's pull that up i thought the girlfriend has something to do with it but his friend but that's that's the thing like when you when you get, get become successful or when you get a lot of come into a lot of money like if you win the lottery that's when you'll see who your real friends are that's when you'll see who your real because real friends is gonna stick by you regardless but then you have those friends who just try to get you for your money and get you for everything you got. Or they just hate on you just because you made it and they ain't shit. So you just have to be careful with that. But overall, that's my opinion of the episode. I thought it was a really good episode. A lot of funny parts. <laughs> there was some funny parts in the episode. Y'all know what my favorite part is. I think y'all know. I'm, I don't know. I think y'all know what my favorite part is. <clears throat> No, everybody just need to chill. You chill. You chill. You chill. You need to chill. <laughs> that whole scene had me cracking up. And somebody on Twitter asked him, were you really high? He said, no, I wasn't really high. But here's the thing. If you, like, do acting, like, if you, like, go to acting classes and stuff, actually, you don't even need to go to an acting class to do this. Acting drunk and acting high is the easiest thing. It's like the easiest thing in the world. You don't even need an acting class for that. All you gotta do when you drunk, act real sluggish, and then when you high, you just uh like you ever wonder like if the sky is real, nigga? <laughs> That's how you act, okay? Um, and make sure you got the eyes, you gotta have the sleepy eyes. Yo, and then you're drunk. Yo, bro, like, I'm not even that drunk, though. That's how you act, okay? It's, like, the easiest thing in the world. But, um, and that sex scene had me feeling some type of way, okay? I mean, it wasn't a real sex scene, but it had me feeling some type of way. It had me just, ooh. <laughs> Man, it's sure a lot better than the one sex scene that Keith filmed, and I think y'all know what scene I'm talking about. But I have the I can't tease him too much. He was playing a virgin, so I can't tease him too much. And then the scene when he got angry and he took that chain off and dropped it on the ground, I'm like, get yours, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Show him you don't play that shit, <laughs> man. But overall, Keith did a, a great job in this episode. Um, I can tell that every time he gets on camera and he films, his acting is it, improving. Like, it's getting better and better each and every time. And, um, yeah, I think this year is a good year for Keith, to be honest. Because he, he did New Edition. He on Famous in Love. He got Reality High coming out. I think next week it's coming out. And, um, he got that, um, Let's Be Friends, Let's Just Be Friends, um, short film coming out. He was on Tails. He did his thing at the BET Awards. I think I think this is he doing good this year. I think by next year he probably gonna be in a Oscar winning movie. 
give him a year or two, he'll be in an Oscar winning movie. He'll be, you know, right where Michael B. Jordan is. You know what I'm saying? Give him a couple years and he'll make it. And yeah, I guess it. That's my review of the whole thing. And um, if you haven't seen it, I suggest you watch it. Because the people who did watch this video, even though you haven't seen the episode, I'm pretty sure you're still going to watch it anyway. Because Keith, Keith is in it. But um, yeah, let me know how y'all feel about the episode. What was your favorite part? What didn't you like about the episode? Other than Keith dying, of course. Because I know that's what y'all are going to type in the comments. I didn't like when they shot up Keith in the beginning. Me neither. But... Hey, that's how they got to film it, okay? But, um... Ooh! I get that up. Anyway, um... Let me know how y'all feel about the other characters. Were you shocked at the ending? Were you not shocked at the ending? And, um... Yeah, just tell me how you feel. How do you feel about Tales as a, as a whole? Do y'all like the series? Do you think it should continue? Are you, are you gonna watch Woody's episode next week? Because I am. I am. So are you going to watch Woody's episode next week? Are you even a fan of Woody? Let me know, okay? Let's have a conversation about this. And make sure you subscribe and comment. And um, make sure you follow me at Gemini Queen 7 And share this video. Power Squad or anybody else watching this video, share this fucking video, bruh. Share it, alright? We need to have a discussion, alright? I should start going on live, but I don't think anybody going. I don't think anybody's going to tune into my YouTube live. I don't really think anybody is. But maybe once I get my subscribers, maybe up to like maybe like a hundred, or maybe two hundred, then maybe I'll start going on live. But I don't think any, ain't nobody gonna go to it. But anyway, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. So bye bye.